Guys, the highly anticipated Canva docs is out now. After Canva has yesterday been teasing on their Twitter account that something big is coming. And it turns out that this something big is actually the highly anticipated Canva docs. Oh my god. Let us now have a look at the current state of Canva docs. For this purpose, we are going to start with a brand new docs document. On Canva's homepage, you can find Canva docs here under you might want to try. So I'm simply gonna click on that to open up a brand new document. Now at first sight you will notice that the layout of everything looks very very familiar. On the left side as always you will find the Canva toolbar with templates, elements, uploads, projects, photos which is actually the exact same toolbar as always in Canva. And on top here you will find your font and your font options in the very same way as when you add text to a regular Canva design. So nothing really new there which is obviously a good thing because we are all familiar with this workflow and with these options. Now let's dive right into it and let's have a look at what you can actually do in Canva Docs. So first of all you can obviously just start typing on your keyboard to write some text. Now what is interesting here is that Canva Docs actually took my brand font and put it as a standard font here in Canva Docs. However, as I don't want to use the Robotica font here in the top toolbar, I would simply click on the font and then you can choose whatever font you want in the very same manner as it also works in a regular Canva design. So I'm just gonna go with this Montserrat Extra Bold. Now I would also like to center my text and this also works as expected. You can simply double click on your text and then here in the top toolbar, you can change the alignment here and easily center it like that. You will then notice that here on the left side you have this plus symbol. So when you click here on that plus symbol you will see that this is actually to open up the magic commands. Magic commands are actually not exclusive to Canva Docs. You have probably noticed that also in your regular designs you can now use magic commands. However magic commands seem to be much more important when it comes to Canva Docs. Because from here you can add all sorts of elements into your Canva Docs. For example if you would like to have a heading you can add it from here. Or maybe you just want to add some body text, a table or even a pie chart. All of that can be done directly from here. Now instead of having to click on this plus symbol to open up the magic commands, you can also just write a slash and you will get immediately into those magic commands here. Another way to open the magic commands up on a Mac would be to press command and E on your keyboard. And if you're on a Windows PC, this would be control plus E. So let us add some stuff here with the help of the magic commands. For example, let's click here on design. And you will then see that a new window actually opens up. So that means that we can now make our design here. And once we save that, this will be directly inserted into our Canva Docs. So for example, if I would just like to add a template, something like that here, I can simply click on that. Then of course I can go in here and adjust everything to my liking, change the text, change the graphics, whatever. Uh, once that is done, I can simply click here on save. And then this will be immediately added to our Canva Docs. This seems to work like a charm and I really, really like this workflow. Once this design has been added to our Canva Docs, however, if you want to adjust something, you can't just click on it and change the text. You would actually have to click on the design and then click on edit design here in the top toolbar again. And like that, you will be able to to make changes and then simply save them and everything will be updated here in the Canva Docs file as well. Now after this panel, let's say you would like to continue with some body text then you would simply click here on the plus symbol, then you click here on body, then you can write your text, then we click on the plus symbol again and let's suppose we would like to add a table, so I would simply click here on table. The good thing with tables here is that they are editable um, immediately and inside of Canva Docs. So here, unlike with our graphic from here above, we can simply click on a cell and then add data immediately. Now if you would like to change the order of elements in Canva Docs, you can simply left click on a graphic and then drag it either upwards or downwards. However, at the moment this doesn't seem to work with every element. For example, if I would like to reposition this table here, I couldn't yet find a way to do that because when I select it, it won't let me move it up or down. So I guess this option will be introduced very soon, but as we are at the very beginning of Canva Docs, I guess this is a feature that is not yet available for all elements here. Now after our title here, I would like to add another graphic, so I'm simply gonna click on plus, and this time I'm gonna scroll down until I see graphics. I'm gonna search for, let's say, a duck. So I can choose this duck from here right away, so let's go with that one here. And one thing that you will notice here immediately is that you can't really freely reposition this duck in your design. That is a little bit disappointing, but I'm pretty sure that the Canva will adjust this very soon. However, what you can do is when you left click it, you can actually move it up or down. That works really well. 
with this graphic. But if you would just like to move this a little bit to the left or to the right, for example, then this doesn't work. So you can't left align it or right align it or freely position it here along the horizontal axis. However, at this very moment, as this feature has not been implemented yet, there is a pretty easy fix for that, and that is to use a design instead of just adding a graphic. So what we can do is we can delete this stack, then we click on the plus symbol here again, and we would actually open up a design here. And now, as in a regular Canva design, we will click here on elements in the left toolbar and search for duck there. And we will find this very same duck. I will drag and drop that onto our design. I will just put it here in on the left side because that's what I wanted to do in our Canva dock, but couldn't. So now as we have our duck here on the left side, I'm simply going to save that. And now our duck is actually here placed on the left side, which is what I wanted, but couldn't do inside of Canva docs alone. Now let me just delete these elements for a second here because there's something really exciting that I would like to show you. So I'm just going to delete all of these elements here. And now once again, we will click here on this plus symbol. And this time we're going to use this magic right feature. Magic right is actually a brand new Canva AI tool, which automatically creates awesome content for you based on your writing input. So for example, if you don't know what to write about in your Canva doc, you could simply use this AI tool to write some content for you. How awesome is that? So let's check it out. Let's say I would like to have some tips on how to earn more money. And let's see with what magic write will come up here. That I'm really, really curious. And there you go. Here are the five tips that we got from magic write. Get a higher paying job, get a promotion, get a raise, make more money through side hustles, or invest money in assets that generate passive income. Those are actually pretty good recommendations. I guess you would agree, right? So this tool is definitely pretty awesome for brainstorming ideas. Now, at this point, one thing that I would like to mention is that instead of having to click on this plus symbol to add stuff into your Google Docs, you can also just use the regular Canva workflow as you would in a regular Canva design project. So that means instead of having to add stuff from here, you could also just click on photos here in the left toolbar of Canva and then as usual, simply drag and drop stuff like that. So I can add a photo like that. I can go to videos and from there, simply drag and drop a video into my Canva docs. This all works great and also works as expected. And what's really cool is I can click on this scissor symbol here in the top toolbar and then just trim the video directly inside of Canva Docs. Another thing that you can do with your videos here in, in Canva Docs is you can simply left click on the video, then go into edit video. And from there you have easy access to your adjust beta panel. When you click on that, you will be able to manipulate the appearance of your video. You can, for example, increase the brightness of your video and you have, and you find other important parameters such as contrast and saturation. Now, most of you guys are probably familiar with Google Docs as well. One cool thing that you can do in Google Docs is you can share your documents with everybody online and then everybody can work together in real time in the very same document. So you might ask yourself if that can be done in Canva Docs as well. And the answer here is a clear yes. And already now this can actually be done. So to work together with other people in Canva Docs, all you would need to do is to click on share in the upper right corner of the screen. Then you can share your design with random people, groups, or maybe just with your Canva team. To do so, you can simply invite these people by adding their email address here, or you could also just send them a link by changing this here to anyone with the link, for example. And you can then define if these people can only view this document or if they can comment on this document or if they have like full access and can edit the document. If you want to give them full access, then just go with can edit and then make sure that you copy the link here and you can then send this link to anybody, be it on TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, or maybe by email. Once they receive that link, they can simply click on that link and they will be able to access this document here as well and make changes in real time, which is truly awesome. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch in Canva Docs, as always with Canva, you get some awesome templates that you could use. To find these Canva Docs templates, as expected, you would simply click on templates here in the left toolbar and you will then find doc templates here. When you click on see all, you see all of these. At the moment, we only have about 30, but I'm pretty sure that Canva will heavily expand on this very, very soon. So for example, if I would like to create a lovely to-do list, I would simply click on this template here to add it to my design. Then in my case, I would like to replace. So I click here on replace. And just like that, we have added an awesome to-do list here to our Canva docs file. 
And that's about it as far as Canva Docs goes for the moment. However, there is one important thing that we will need to discuss before we wrap this up. And this is the question who can actually use Canva Docs at the present moment? Well, as you have surely noted, Canva Docs is now in beta mode. So what does that mean exactly? Well, as far as Canva Docs goes, this means that you can only use it if you have actually signed up for Canva Docs beta. If you haven't done that yet, I highly suggest you to do that right now. Here's how you do it. On Canva's homepage, scroll down until you see Docs and then click on it. And then simply click on Join the Waitlist. You are now officially on the waitlist and as soon as Canva Docs is available for you, you will get notified. Now before I let you guys go, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. And also, if you would like to know about some secret Canva hacks that you surely haven't heard of yet, I highly suggest you to watch the next video on my channel, where I will go really deep on the 30 greatest Canva hacks ever.